Hello, this video is a brief introduction to our linguistic research project Enigma and an overview of the registration process for experimenters, that is, for researchers who are interested in studying language acquisition using artificial grammar learning paradigm. Enigma is designed to be a free online tool for linguists to test the learnability of attested and untested linguistic regularities and explore various factors that may influence learners' performance in learning a specific linguistic pattern. Enigma provides flexible behavioral experimental designs to accommodate the experimenter's needs in running different types of artificial language grammar learning experiments incorporating awareness measures for an assessment of implicit and explicit learning and knowledge. As a web application, Enigma aims to help experimenters recruit a larger number of participants with diverse individual differences to investigate multiple factors involved in language acquisition and language learning. Crucially, Enigma is designed to be mobile-friendly to allow participants to run a specific experiment anytime and anywhere, as long as they are connected to the Internet. Enigma will also serve as the online database and the host of your experimental data, which allows experimenters to access and explore other published data for application studies or meta-analyses. In this video, we will walk you through the processes of signing up to Enigma as an experimenter to enjoy the above benefits and introduce you to the basic experimenter functions. After visiting the Enigma website and selecting a language for the homepage user interface, you will be navigated to the homepage. Click on the experimenter button and then sign up to proceed to the account registration page. As an experimenter, you are only required to provide your email address to minimize the personal information that will be stored in Enigma. However, your email address has some very important functions. This email address will not only be used to verify your account, but will also be disclosed in each of your experiments in Enigma to the participants. As participants should be able to contact at least the researcher who creates an experiment for any question they have. It is thus crucial not to register with a private email address but the one you use for research purpose. You will also need to set a password of 8 characters or longer for your account. And we suggest you to use a complex combination of numbers and alphabets that is different from the password of your email account to better protect your experimenter account. You can also choose the language interface that you prefer when signing up for an experimenter account, and you can change this preference at any time in your account settings. Before you submit your account information, please make sure that you have read through Enigma's terms and condition and that you agree to it. Crucially, you must always follow our research ethics guidelines and understand your responsibility and our policy for protecting participants' right and online privacy. After you submit your experimenter account information, a verification mail will be sent to your registered email with a link to activate your Enigma account. Once you click on the Verify button on the account activation page, you should be able to activate your experimenter account successfully. And then you will be navigated back to the sign-in page automatically where you can log into your account. If you don't receive the verification mail, check your spam folder first. And if it's still not there, you can still log into your unverified account and ask Enigma to send another verification email again. You could also change your registered email to try if another email can receive the verification letter. Note that all unverified accounts will be removed automatically from Enigma 72 hours after their creation. After logging into a verified experimenter account, you will first see the experimenter dashboard, which presents the information about the progress of your current active experiments and all the activities related to your experiments. The record of these activities helps to track the previous changes made to an experiment by you or your coordinators and manage your experiments more easily. The logs will be preserved for a week 
and will be removed automatically afterwards. Click on the menu in the top left corner of the website and you will see Manage Account, Manage Experiments, User Home, About Enigma, and Logout. In the Manage Account page, you can change your password and the language of your experiment interface. You can also resend a verification mail from this page if you have not received one. In addition, it is possible to change your email address used to log into your experimenter account, but you will need to verify the email again within 72 hours before your unverified account and all valuable experimental data are deleted automatically. On the same page, you can also choose to delete your account. After clicking on the Delete button, you will be asked to enter your password to complete the action. However, please note that deleting your account results in an irreversible removal of all your personal and experimental data. So we do hope that you can think twice before deleting your account, since your experiments and experimental data help sustain the operation of Enigma and make this project more meaningful. Moving on. Manage Experiments will bring you to a page where you can create new experiments and manage your current experiments. You will see the number of experiments you have created in total experiment quota. Each experimenter can create up to 30 experiments and run up to 10 experiments simultaneously. If you need to increase your quota, please contact us and state your reasons, and we can try our best accommodating your needs. The Running Experiments section shows the experiments you have activated. The experiments will appear in the experiments list that are publicly available to all verified participants. You can review the settings of each running experiment or download collected experimental results by clicking on it or preview the experiment, but you won't be able to change these settings. The Inactive Experiments section shows the experiments you are still editing and therefore unavailable to participants. Clicking on the experiments takes you to the Configure Experiment page to change the settings or activate an experiment. The Completed Experiments section shows the experiments in which the number of participants has reached the target number of participants. As in the case with running experiments, while you can still review the settings, preview these experiments, or download their results, you cannot change their settings. In the Coordinating Experiments section shows you the experiments in which your role is a collaborator. As a coordinator, you can change the settings of these experiments before they are activated or download their results at any time after they are activated. Detailed instructions on how to create and manage your experiments will be explained in another video. Clicking on User Home takes you back to the Experimenter dashboard. Finally, if you have checked the Remember Me box on the signing page, you won't be locked out automatically, so the Logout button might be useful sometimes, especially when you're using any public computer. Now enjoy your journey with the Enigma and create your first experiment following our tutorials and other videos.